Hi everybody, Martin Hazy, Lord Mayor from the City of Adelaide. Great to see you. I'm pleased to share with you what's been happening at Adelaide City Council during the month of May. Many would have heard of the state government project called Adelink. Now Adelink is the study which is being led by Minister Stephen Mulligan to look at the benefits of expanding the light rail network, the tram network, around the City of Adelaide and into met inner metropolitan Adelaide. I recently met with a number of my fellow mayors, inner metropolitan fellow mayors, and we've come together to form a group called Mayors for Adelink. And many of the inner metropolitan councils, including Adelaide City Council, have recently passed a motion through our council chambers in support of this Adelink project. Now what we're looking at together is what are the transport benefits, what are the social benefits, what are the economic benefits, and what are the potential environmental benefits of extending the tram network throughout the City of Adelaide and in a Metro Adelaide. There's a great deal of work to be done. It is certainly early days on this project. However, the mayors are all committed towards examining what are the potential benefits for their local government areas, for their communities. And on the surface of things, there does seem to be quite an amount of considerable support. But we will work with the government and we will work on the Adelink project together and I look forward to reporting back to you in due course. I recently had the great pleasure of hosting the Switched On Schools Summit and also the Lord Mayor's Youth Climate Council here for two days at Adelaide Town Hall. And as you know, Adelaide Town Hall are celebrating 150 years this year. So it's a great place for people to meet and share ideas. We had 100 school students from the City of Adelaide and Metropolitan Adelaide join us here at Town Hall to have a terrific and engaged debate about the climate, adaptation, mitigation and all things sustainability. As you know, the City of Adelaide has a goal that by 2025 we want to be the world's first carbon neutral city, if not sooner. And our school community, our university communities, and all facets of our community are very engaged in assisting us with this goal. So I must say, thank you to the school students. It was wonderful to listen to everybody's views about what sustainability means to them. Recently in the Adelaide City Council Chamber, we received a number of deputations from members of the public, business people, cultural people, musicians. A deputation is effectively when people come in and they share their thoughts, their ideas and their experiences with the elected members of Adelaide City Council. It's an important means of councillors receiving feedback from the community. We've been able to quantify as a result of inter international engagement objectives and initiatives recently that we've yielded $15 million worth of trade results, which is a terrific outcome. So we've had Pippa Crawford from CMV Farms, who are located on West Terrace, part of the great CMV group, speak to us. We've had Anne Dunstan, who is the principal of Pulteney Grammar School on South Terrace. We've had Dave Grice, who leads Music SA, who is doing some great things with our sister city in Austin, Texas. We've had a number of entrepreneurs and traders who've all been in sharing as a result of the work that the elected members have done in supporting them in the sister cities, their results. We're committed to this. We believe it's an important part of serving our community. We believe it's also an important part of realising the City of Adelaide's goal of becoming a truly international city. That really is only the tip of the iceberg of what's been happening in Adelaide City Council in the month of May, so I do look forward to sharing with you so much more next month. Bye for now.